Hi and welcome. Today I want to show you something that I've had made for about three or four years now and uh, I thought it's time to maybe post it up on YouTube so you can have a look at it, see what you think, has it got potential, What it is, is a generator that will generate six independent generators, as you see on the boards. Everyone has got their own control unit, voltage and amperage gauges on and off switches and on this particular occasion I'm going to be running it using an inverter uh, because the uh, LG washing machine motor is a three phase and I've not rewired it or anything like that. And the reason I'm using this is because it's got tremendous torque. And the reason it's got torque is because it is powered out from the centre to the edge. And it's around this area where it's powered and that creates a tremendous amount of torque and uh, in the past people have used single motors which are incapable of maintaining a load without, uh, without burning up. Now this unit, this will do a thousand RPM but I'm not going to use it anywhere near that. I'll be using about 275 RPM and that's all with this and it's going to drive six independent generators as you can see inside each with their own cog wheel and there are six of them in total going around the unit and they're all coming out wired up into that there. Now at this moment in time I've only got three wired up to a battery and these three are dormant at the moment I could turn them on but it tells you not to until you've got your battery covered up, uh, connected up otherwise you'll create problems inside the box. So they're dormant at the moment but ready for wiring up. So I'm going to be using three, number four, five and six. And as you can see on there, I've got 9.2 already in the battery. And it's not on at all. And I'm going to be running it from a power point there into the inverter for the three phase. And that will rotate that in the rotation direction that I've asked it to do. It is a little bit noisy, so when I'm running this, oh, we're turning the sound down. <laughs> you won't be able to hear me talk. It's only because it really needs some machined items in there, and I've had to use what was available out there on the internet and various other places 
took me a while to collect all the bits I needed. I made this guard. It's made out of individual tubes stuck together in a circle with a flange on the bottom and a plate on the top. And that bolts onto the main frame. As you can see, bolts on there. This is temporary at the moment. There's no nuts on this, just bolts in the hole to hold it in place. And then the drive goes on the top. And as you can see, if you see the cog turning there, that's turning six of them all at the same time. So what I'll do, I'm doing this video in two parts. I will start it up and give you an idea of what to expect once it's running. So bear with me a little while.
Well, there you are. Not sure what you think about it, but let me know. Got some great potential. And once I get the other side wired up to the batteries, I have the potential of charging up six batteries, one on each battery. Uh, it is my intention to feed it back into itself from a battery and I'm going to use a power inverter and this particular one is a pure sine wave so it uh, works perfectly with this inverter and I will be connecting this to the battery that's the negative that's the positive and I will be plugging in at that point there on the end with that and once that's powered from that one battery into there I will be able to run this whole uh, machine off the battery itself now to make this I believe self sustaining I would need about two or three batteries in parallel and I would then be able to charge up that bank of batteries as I'm using it and once I've got all six generators working and given me approximately 14 to 15 volts and 2 amps each I think there should be enough power to keep it running for as long as the unit stands up. As I say it is basic inside because I've had to use what's available. It can be made a lot quieter if things were machined properly and fitted correctly. But funds will allow me to do 